morning my dear students how are you doing yes you are all fine and safe at home so we are discussing the scholarship jacket where do we stop in the previous class ah yes you know Martha was waiting for her scholarship jacket but there was a foul play played by the uh, rich man in that village who was also a member member of that board with the management and the staff with the support of some teachers and uh, some of the management members he was playing a foul play and uh, they compelled the principal to avoid martha from claiming the scholarship jab scholarship jacket so you know martha who is a straight a student from first grade to eighth a grade there was no chance for them to avoid whom yes martha no adjustment was possible in that mark because she was a straight a then you know they must have thought deeply about how to avoid martha and they found a solution for that what was the solution tell me what was the solution ah yes the solution was to avoid her by asking a an amount for that scholarship jacket they knew very well that she was from a very very poor family and uh, paying money for winning that jacket was impossible for them they knew it very well it was not affordable for her paying a uh, dollar and uh, winning that scholarship jacket was impossible for whom yes martha so based on that plan principal asked 15 dollars for scholarship jacket because of some uh, policy changes of that school by saying so he asked 15 15 dollars from yes martha and she knew it very well that there was no chance for paying 15 dollars but she was not ready to accept it she said yes i will try i will bring that amount by saying she left the office room and on the way you know she cried a lot and she knew very clear that uh, it was impossible and uh, after reaching their hut home you know she wanted to meet yes grandfather who will be uh, the person to pay that amount because she was staying with the grandmother and the grandfather there we stopped now yes where is grandpa i asked grandma looking down at the floor so she wouldn't ask me why i had been crying uh, after reaching there at home directly she asked what ah uh, she asked where was grandpa then how did she ask that ha ah, she kept looking down at the floor without looking at the face of grandma she asked she asked what she asked uh, by looking down on the floor why why did she ask so ha ah, why because ah uh, she was crying you know she had been crying from school to yes 
harm so she wanted to avoid grandma looking on her face so she looked at the uh, floor yes she wouldn't ask me why i had been crying ah if she sees you know they will, she will ask ah, why why are you crying why are you crying tell me what happened to you like that who would ask yes grandma would ask she knew it so by for avoiding her grandma she did like that she was sewing a quilt as usual and didn't look up ha ah, she was sewing sewing means you know sewing uh, what a quilt what is mean by a quilt a thick cover, covering for a bed uh, for bed a thick covering will be there on the cot your bed will be there for covering that bed what was there uh, we use a cover and that is what quilt so it was torn so she was uh, uh, not stitching by using a needle she was sewing it i think he is out back working in the bean field uh, then grandma said uh, i think he is out back working in the bean field uh, he is a farmer so who grandfather uh, went back to yes bean field i went outside and looked out at the fields there he was ah uh, then martha should see whom is grandfa grandfather and uh, want to get an idea whether who want to know what whether grandfather would pay that amount or not so she looked outside and uh, she looked at the field and uh, he saw grandfather standing in the bean field i could see him walking between the rows his body bent over the little plants ho in hand ha uh, ho was there in hand ho means what a garden tool with a long handle and a blade used for yes breaking up soil yes you know with the car uh, whom yes with all farmers what will be there ah uh, yeah how will be there so he was uh, walking what walking in that uh, in between that rows of bean field then his bare body went over the little plants and he was removing what weeds other plants i walked slowly out to him and martha walked slowly towards him trying to think how i could best ask him for the money and what was she thinking no uh, she was trying to think how she could best ask him for the money she should ask it in a very polite and also in a good way the best way she should use why because ha uh, if grandfather gets angry he will not pay that amount he should be his mood should be what uh, happiness he should be in a good mood then only what uh, grandfather may think about hearing the problem so on the way to grandfather yes martha was thinking how to ask it in a best way there was a cool breeze blowing and a sweet smell of mesquit fruit in the air but i didn't appreciate it ah there was a cool breeze blowing ah a cool breeze was blowing in that evening and a sweet smell of mesquite mesquite means what a north american tree ah there, there was a mesquite tree and a what a sweet smell was coming from that tree and you know she was not in a mood to appreciate that smell and that wind that cool breeze ah when we are uh, in such a mood enjoying the beauty of nature yes we will appreciate but at the same time uh, our mentality is very important even if the climatic condition is very best one 
Uh, we may not be able to appreciate it. Why? Because we will have a tension in our mind. If we are uh, facing a problem, if there is any worry in our mind, you know, the favorable climatic condition also will not be uh, favorable to us. We will be in a negative mood. That was the condition of that Martha. Uh, she was not uh, enjoying the what uh, nature's uh, favorable condition. I kicked at a dirt clod. Uh, I kicked at what a dirt clod. Clod means what a lump of uh, earth or a clay. Uh, yes, uh, I raised uh, what uh, earth or a clay was there. So just she kicked it and uh, moved very near to grandpa. Then, I wanted that jacket so much. Ah, I want that jacket so much. Ah, yes, who is thinking? Yes, Martha is thinking. I want that jacket very much. It was more than just being a valedictorian and uh, giving a little thank you speech for the jacket on graduation night. It was presented eight years of hard work and uh, expectation. Uh, you have to think, this scholarship jacket is nothing but what? Uh, nothing but for her eight years hard work and uh, expectation. So she cannot make any adjustment in that scholarship jacket. At any cost, she has to get it. That was there in her mind. So I wanted that jacket. It was more than just being a valedictorian. Uh, you may think what uh, valedictorian means winner. Just uh, becoming the winner and uh, giving a little thank you speech in the uh, for the jacket on graduation night uh, there will be a uh, what a ceremony a celebration ceremony will be there for uh, what this graduation day graduation day means uh, that particular end of that year what uh, they will give this scholarship jacket and there will be a program arranged by the management so on that day who the winner of that scholarship jacket should come forward and make a small thanking speech and she, he or he or will be uh, announced or declared as the valedictorian. But you know, for Martha uh, becoming the valedictorian and making a speech, it was, uh, it was more than that. Because she hard worked a lot. So for that $15, she cannot avoid it. I knew I had to be honest with Grandpa. It was my only chance. Uh, I knew I had no. I had to be honest with uh, Grandpa. He, she should be very honest. She cannot speak much. If she, if she uh, speaks much and if she, if it irritates or if if it makes angry whom Grandpa, you know, he will or his answer will be negative. It was my only chance. Ah, here is the only chance for her to win that award. Yes. The scholarship jacket. He saw my shadow and looked up. Ah, and he did not turn back, but he, uh, what he saw the shadow of whom? Yes, Martha. He waited for me to speak. Did he ask anything? No, he didn't ask anything. Uh, he waited. Who waited? Grandfather waited for whom to see, speak? Yes, Martha. I cleared my throat nervously and uh, clasped my hands behind my back so he wouldn't see them shaking. Uh, then how did he start to speak, you know? Uh, she cleared her throat. <coughs> she cleared by making uh, a sound about she cleared her throat. Why? Because ah, she was going to say very, ah, very important and also uh, a thing which may not be acceptable to yes, grandfather. So she cleared her throat nervously. Nervous means what? Fear. 
because of fear yes because grandfather she doesn't want to hear no a negative word from whom yes grandfather that's why and she clasped her hands and martha clasped the clasp means are uh, tied her hands behind her back why so who grandfather would not see it is shaking ha ah, actually her hands were shaking why because this is what the last chance she cannot miss it grandpa i have a big favor to ask you ha ah, she started like this grandpa i have a big favor to ask you i said in spanish the only language he knew ha ah, yes grandfather knew only one language which you ah, which was that language yes spanish language so she started i want a favor from you he still waited silently then still he waited i tried again grandpa this year the principal said the scholarship jacket is not going to be free ah uh, then what did he say no uh, he started to she started to explain it grandpa this year the principal said the scholarship jacket is not going to be free it is going to cost 15 dollars and uh, i have to take the money in tomorrow otherwise it will be given to someone else ah uh, she said it in a one a single stretch she said but ah this year there is a change in the policy of school management uh, actually i am the winner of the scholarship jacket but this year they uh, they brought a new policy uh, by which i have to give 15 dollars to win that scholarship jacket and uh, as early as possible which means tomorrow itself i have to pay that 15 dollars to the school management then only i will uh, become the winner if not the result she has played if not they will give th that scholarship jacket to someone else the last words came out in an eager rush ah that last word came out in a eager rush in a very speed way but ah and i have to take the money tomorrow otherwise it will be given to someone else she said it in a very ah ah eager rush when suddenly speedily she said she said it then grandpa heard it he knew about that word the scholarship jacket in that school why because ah uh, this martha's elder sister who won that word scholarship jacket so at that time there was no award uh, money for it so he knew it grandpa straightened up tiredly and uh, leaned his chin on the how handle ha uh, then what grandpa straightened up tiredly ha uh, he was bending and he was doing something no then when after hearing this he straightened his body straightened up tiredly actually he was tired because he has been working uh, since morning he will be tired and he is an old man not a young man so he was very tired and uh, he straightened his body and uh, leaned uh, leaning leaning forward means moving like this and he leaned uh, his chin uh, were on the how handle ah uh, he ah uh, he stood like this by catching by holding that bar that how handle he looked out over the field that was filled with the tiny green bean plants ah uh, he looked out look at the face of martha he looked out over the field that was filled with the tiny green bean plants ah uh, with the tiny green bean plants ah uh, it was very beautiful ah uh, he planted it and now it is growing and he looked at it i waited 
desperately. Uh, who waited? Yes. Our Martha waited. Yes. Anxiously. Desperately we can say anxiously. Very anxiously. She wants to know what will be the answer of that part uh, for our grandfather. Desperately hoping he would say I could have the money. Uh, she waited desperately hoping he would say I could have the money. Uh, and what was the what was the reply expected by that Martha? Uh, she would he would give. Uh, okay, I will give you uh, tomorrow in the morning. I will give you that fifteen dollars and you can go and pay it and you can uh, win the uh, you can claim the scholarship jacket. That was the reply expected by whom? Yes, Martha. He turned to me uh, after uh, thinking for some time. Grandfather turned towards Martha and asked quietly in a very calm way. Grandfather asked, what does a scholarship jacket mean? Uh, grandfather asked another question without answering whether he was ready to give that money or not. He said, he asked one question, what does a scholarship jacket mean? Uh, what is the meaning of a scholarship jacket? Tell me. I answered quickly. Uh, then what, you know, uh, he and she answered quickly. Why? Because uh, actually she thought who, yes, uh, grandfather got a interest in that subject. Maybe there was a chance. Uh, she thought there, maybe there was a chance. It means you have earned it by having the highest grades for eight years and that is why they are giving it to you. Uh, then she said about now, it means you have earned it. Higher scholarship jacket means you have earned it by having the highest grades for eight years and that is why they are giving it to you. Uh, you have been winning uh, yeah, from or since fifth this grade first to eighth standard and that's why you are you deserve it and so we are giving this uh, a particular honor or we honoring you by uh, giving this scholarship jacket that is what the meaning of the scholarship jacket too late i realized the significance of my words uh, too late uh, I, uh, I realized the significance of my words, but uh, when he explained it, when she explained it, uh, she uh, forgot actual meaning or the, uh, the meaning of that word, that dialogue. Actually, uh, by analyzing that dialogue of Martha, we can easily understand what uh, it is a uh, honor to the student who wins straight A from first grade to A state. There is no explanation about $15 or money in that explanation. Actually, that is what the scholarship jacket. She explained it. Huh. It is for the uh, uh, straight air rent. That is answer. Then, that's why. Uh, did she say anything about that money in that? No. Grandpa knew that I understood it was not a matter of money. Uh, and uh, Grandpa understood. Uh, it was not a matter of money. Uh, winning scholarship jacket and uh, money is not at all related. They cannot com uh, com uh, what? They cannot uh, combine it. So it wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't that. It was not a matter of money. He went back to hoeing the weeds that sprang up between the delicate little bean plant. So. He went back, he went back to hoeing uh, by using that, oh, he was doing work. And the weeds, weeds means what? Uh, uh, unwanted uh, plants uh, growing in that uh, rows of that, what, that bean plant. Uh, he was removing that unwanted plants. So between what delicate and little bean plants, uh, between that uh, little delicate bean plants, what was growing, uh, unwanted plants were growing, so he was removing it. 
It was a time-consuming job. As you know, uh, removing that weeds, that is a time-consuming. Why? Because it should be very careful. If he uh, uh, doesn't care, what will happen? Even that bean plant also will be removed. So sometimes the small shoots were right next to each other. Uh, sometimes what? The small shoots of that bean plant will be very close to that what? That weeds, unwanted plant. Uh, that bean plant and the unwanted plant also will be growing very close. So what? When we use that hoe, sometimes what? Uh, that uh, green uh, bean plant also may be removed. So we should be very careful. So when we are very careful, it will take time. So time consuming job. Finally, he spoke again as I turned to leave, crying. Uh, then what? Uh, finally, he just asked one question. Uh, what is the meaning of scholarship jacket? Then he, she explained. And in that explanation itself, what is there? Answer is there. Whose answer? Grandfather's uh, answer is there. Uh, why do we want to pay money? It is uh, for the student who, uh, uh, who wins a straight A from first to eight. And what is the end of money? Uh, then, but do not say. Actually, Martha understood it. So what? Uh, she turned to uh, turned to leave that room, uh, that plan, that field. At the time she he spoke. Then if you pay for it, Martha, it is not a scholarship jacket, is it? Tell your principal I will not pay the fifteen dollars. Uh, then what? Then okay, you yourself explained it as what? Ah, uh, it is a honor given to the student who is a straight winner of winner from first to eighth grade with A. So there is no mention of money in that matter. So he said what? Ah, then if you pay $15 for it, Martha, it is not a scholarship jacket. How can we call it as a scholarship jacket? We can, uh, we buy, uh, we give money and buy a trophy means, can we say it is a uh, honor? No. Winning a uh, trophy is very important. Winning a jacket is very important. If you should, sometimes what uh, children or uh, some children may be coming from very rich family and they will be able to buy any of this trophy or any medal or anything. But it is not correct. What they have to win. And they have to win the uh, competition or a, uh, yes, any game. And then winning that is very important. That's why he said no. Uh, paying money and uh, winning scholarship jacket is what it is not right that is what my opinion so you can go and inform your uh, what uh, yes principal that uh, you are not going to pay money for what that scholarship jacket that was a decision of whom uh, that was a decision of whom yes grandfather okay so there we can stop that conversation between grandfather and yes Martha and what was the question and what was the answer of whom yes grandfather so here some side question answers are there you can write it down and just you can write a conversation between whom yes grandfather and Martha just to try to write a conversation okay it will be useful to you so uh, who yes uh, martha going and uh, uh, yes saying uh, good evening and uh, who yes just uh, imagine that conversation uh, with the grandfather and uh, uh, write a imaginary conversation between whom yes grandfather and uh, martha okay so this is your work and also you have to attend the side question answers of this part okay thank you